So I want to do a couple videos uh, on the uh, artistry and trumpet playing of Clifford Brown. Um, Clifford made a huge impact on jazz music and, and uh, the art of bebop. Um, and uh, sadly died when he was 26 in, in an auto accident. Um, but what he left was an incredible legacy, and uh, there are a lot of great um, recordings of Clifford. Um, and there's just so much material, actually, it's surprising. Um, but uh, I wanted to talk about a specific recording, and um, maybe try to demonstrate a couple of the lines that he uses in a couple of his techniques. Um, there is a recording of Clifford Brown. Um, it's on philology um, records. It's like some weird Italian label. Um, I ran into the, there's two of them. There's volume one and two. It's called Brownie's Eyes. Brownie's Eyes, volume one and two. Um, I think this stuff actually was re-released on a small record label. I did see it on CD Universe. Um, maybe I'll try to locate the link to that. I know that this, I looked, I tried to look for this on Amazon and they said that they were out, but um, in any case, this is really hard stuff to find and um, I tracked it down some years ago, but I think the, um, what I want to explain about these recordings is that um, there's a bunch of this stuff where Clifford is actually practicing at home. <laughs> um, and somebody, you know, either he or maybe his wife, pushed the tape recorder and you hear him practicing. And, you know, what I think is really stunning about it is that there are so few of um, our uh, heroes of, in any genre of music um, where you get to hear them shed, you know, you get to hear them practice, and, and what are they doing, you know, and, and how in the world do they get so good? <laughs> um, I mean, can you imagine listening to uh, anybody, you know, uh, Charlie Parker or, or uh, Jimi Hendrix or, you know, who, whoever you love um, uh, practice? Um, it would be stunning. And this is actually that. Um, and it's just incredible. Um, and you really get to hear him play his lines and work on his, um, his thing. And uh, he, he also plays some songs, and he plays them right through the changes, and it's just solo trumpet. Um, and it's just horrifyingly good. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to write um, a couple of lines for you and show you what, how he's practicing and show you what he's doing. Um, I'd play it for you in a second, but I think that that might be uh, against the rules for copyright. But um, let's see here. Um, so I'm going to write out this line and play it. Um, here's one of his phrases that he's working on. This is a out beforehand, but at least you can kind of see the line as it's constructed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play you this line, and I'll play it in a couple of keys. Um, oh, what this is, I should write it out, actually, is D minor 7, G7 here. Um, we'll quickly analyze it. Uh, we've got 1, 2, or 9, flat 3, um, 11, Five flat three nine one um, flat 
five, five, nine, eleven, nine, three, and root. Okay. So at least you get an idea of what he's doing here. Um, and I'm going to grab my horn really quick. Maybe I'll even try and play it on the piano for you. Um, this thing and he changes it um, and he's got about you know several different ways of linking this two five together um, and what we're gonna do in the next video is talk about the progression of how he's changing this thing so you might just get comfortable playing the thing in, a, in you know some different keys <laughs> Please subscribe to these videos if you like them, and we'll see you next time. Bye.